Hi, I'm Matt Bow with the Lair Homes Hunt Country. And I'm Sharon Brown with Washington Vine Properties. And then typically now, once you've had that conversation with them, You've often called us in. Exactly. And so why is that? Well, I think it's really important. So my background's in architecture. I think it's very important when someone is looking at land and they're narrowing down what they want early on to bring in a builder like you um, so that they can start to understand how the site development is going to, per, you know, what that process is. Yeah. I think if you wait um, and get a beautifully designed set of plans and then go out and look for the land, you're probably going to end up changing your plans according to the site. So working with a builder early on to get that to, you know, understanding the, the site development process is very important. Right. I'd agree, I would agree 100%. We always tell clients, find the site first before you design because topography, um, orientation, and uh, other restrictions will impact where the house goes on the site and how it relates to the site. And if you try it, uh, designing it one way, oftentimes it doesn't work with the realities of the site, right? And there's physical realities that we face as the builder in site development. And this site is a really good example of it. So we have on this site um, certain environmental overlays. Uh, we, have, we have floodplain on the site, we have steep slopes, and we have mountain overlay districts. And all these things limit where you can build and what you can build on the property. Now, it doesn't make the property unbuildable, but it's important to know them. When you're buying a piece of raw land like this out in the county, all these things come into play. They have cost implications and they have development implications. And uh, those are things that we need to share with the client. We research those and help them understand it. Right? You agree oh, with that? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Definitely. And so on, on this site here, as you take a look in the background, Sharon, we've got, we can see how this topo really rolls a lot. Mm -hmm. And there was not a, you know, we we're about at the limit before this site starts to drop off steeply at the back. And so that dictated how much of the site could be used. And then, of course, we're getting into steep slopes and things on the backside and down towards the floodplain at the creek. So we've got this massive site, but only a portion of it is really a suitable site for the house. But then we also have a rolling topography. And as a result, we're, we've got to, when we're uh, working on our site design and house elevations, we're looking at how much soil or fill we may need to add or get rid of to create a suitable building site. So all these things come into play. It's not like finding a site in a subdivision that's just ready to go, right? There's a whole feasibility study that has to be done in advance in order to determine does this site meet the client's needs? And what is that, so how long does that typically take you? So when someone comes to meet with you, kind of walk me through, they're meeting you in your office first, or do you like to meet out at the site first? Like what is your process? And then that feasibility study, how much time does that take? Yeah, so it, it, that can depend. So it's, as you've done in the past, you've referred clients to us who are serious about particular sites. And so I meet them out there and I make some initial assessments. And I can do a fairly quick search of any of the um, restrictions that may exist on the site so that when we have that first meeting at a high level we can talk about what is and is not possible and if it seems to be feasible we can tell pretty quickly um, the impact of, of, of the various uh, overlay districts and other requirements yeah. on this site and it helps clients decide whether this is a site they want to pursue for purchase. I know, I think you've answered me on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> I'm like, Matt, yeah. <laughs> I've got some clients, like, well, tell me about this land. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and of course then, you know, that's a high level feasibility and, and, and when the clients choose to engage with us, then we go really deep on it and we start to really dig into um, what can we do, what can't we do, where should the house go, what type of house are you looking for, are you looking for a walkout condition, all these things are, you know, have to be considered. It's just not as simple as, hey, let's buy this 10 acres, look at all, you know, we can do whatever we want. In Hi, I'm Matt Bow with the Lair.